even though this is like a interview mm-hmm. type thing, mm-hmm. we're not gonna just interview. We gonna play games. We are gonna play some games. Yay. So this is brought to you by the guys at Waving the Red Flag Podcast. Shout out to them, man. Came on the show all the way from America um, and dropped off a gift for us. So essentially, this is a conversational type game, mm-hmm. um, and we're gonna read out statements. We're gonna talk about it. And basically, you decide, is it a red flag? Mm. Is it not a red flag? This sounds Would you fun. Date I got like a that? lot of opinions. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> some of them are wild, to be fair. I'll see the recall. Yeah, some of them are... Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Do you want me to read half and you read half or you? Yeah, I'm going to give you... So I'm just going to split up now. Okay. I'm going to let you start. Uh, cool. I wish I had a little pedal. Like, <laughs> red flag. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really to give you. But, uh, okay, cool. The first one is, is it a red flag... If they tell you other people's secrets. Yes. I think so. Absolutely. You like I find that even a red flag in friends. Okay. Yeah. Don't, I'll, I'll even say don't tell me don't what tell you're doing. You. Yeah. But isn't there like a level of secrets that's kind of okay to tell maybe your partner? Well, are we together? That's a good question. Yeah, it depends on the stage. Because yeah. if we're dating. Because if we're dating and they're like, oh, my boy's like this and that. I'm like, yo, you're That's... telling me too many things too quickly. Yeah. But if we're together together and it's like, yo, my boy. I'm like, oh. Yeah, what type of... <laughs> Wait, why, why, why are girls like that? Because just, I think... Just, it? No, like, no, 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 no. It's not even just just because like, for example, say um, I'm with my girl, yeah? yeah. And we obviously have a private conversation yeah. like in the presence of you. Like, for example, we're all chilling, all three of us at the crib. And you're like, oh, bro, like, I need to check these or something. Like, do you mind if we just go outside for good mm. privacy? Da, 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 da. Go outside, we chop it up. Cool, come back. Hour passes, you leave. You're going to be like, so what was he? <laughs> it's, a, it's clearly a secret. Yeah. It's clearly something that's going to... Yeah, but once I'm your girlfriend, I've surpassed the level of your friends. So then you can tell me stuff. Yeah, we haven't like bypassed like secrecy. Yes, I have. Huh? Or confidentiality. Yes. Yeah. Conf- Unless it's really bad. Unless it's like really deep and personal. It's kind of like traumatic. And I feel like sometimes... There's a certain boundary. But I feel like if like... Let's say um, my boyfriend, if I had one, cheated. Mm. Yeah. Or not, not him cheated. Or his friend cheated, cheated on his yeah. girl. And be like, yeah. oh, you know. That's not... That's him just acting No, up. but you're going to look at your boyfriend differently. Now. Exactly. You're going to look at your why boyfriend Because why are you hanging around a cheater? But you know <laughs> and what? your boyfriend's friend. That's true, actually. So next time he comes around and he's like, trying to do... <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden nothing's funny that <laughs> true. that's true but I have this I don't know I think I have like the superpower men tell them to tell on themselves to me very quickly like they'll they'll tell me everything so I'll know okay. I'll find out fair enough, fair enough okay the next one is is it a red flag if they don't tip tip yeah remember these mm. are Americans who made this way. yeah this is Amer- oh if we're in America then yeah we should tip because it's the culture should yeah. I say okay. here I don't really care you don't really care, no. fair enough. Yeah, I don't... Tipping here, it's only if there's exceptionally good service. Yeah. But if he tips when we're here, I can't lie, I'd be impressed. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. it's a green because, flag if he tips. Yeah, like, if, it's not a red flag if he doesn't tip, but if he yeah. did tip, I'd be like, oh, okay, like, you got Big money buddy. like that, okay. <laughs> it's got money to spare. <laughs> Do you tip your barber? Uh, not really because I feel like that's the only place where yeah, you should where tip. you should in this I country. I didn't know that's anyway. a thing, like a big thing. I mean, it's I'm not necessarily... I'm a drink or something. Yeah, it's, yeah, or, yeah. So like, that's like in a tip. So for example, like you know where my barber is, like there's like mm. a seal spot around the corner. So yeah. every now and then I'd be like, like bro, you like you want like you want some seal or whatever. Mm. Like, yeah, we'll get that. But again, there's levels because even the rates of trims have been exactly <laughs> good up. So exactly, so I can't. Rates of everything going up. Yeah, I haven't done it in a while. To be fair, wow. Do you read a couple? Yeah. So is it a red flag if they are friends with all their exes? You're not going to be... They, the exes need to be dead. Like, we're not going to do that. I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, what why... What do you mean you're buddy buddy with all your exes? No, you no. not. You don't even know where all your of ex them. is. No, no, no. no. That's, that's not even them. the most recent one. That's crazy. I don't want... No, I don't want my man having anything to do with his exes. Sorry. No. That means he has, like, detachment issues or something. Yes. Really? Yeah. I, you know what? It's different though, because like my parents' generation, not my mm. parents, because they had like um, different, mm. they're Indian. <laughs> but like, I feel like the dating scene for that generation, I've noticed they're like married, but they'll like invite their ex to the wedding. Like, huh? Yeah, I've seen stuff like that. No, nah. yeah, but wedding, but I hear if no, like, like, oh, I'm still friends with my ex. No, like, I know this 30 year old guy, and he's like, oh, I'm still friends with my ex, and like, I 
have a new girlfriend, she mm. doesn't mind. I'm like thinking, what? Obviously, you might know better than me, but isn't it like the community is kind of, not small, but everyone's kind of like... Everyone if you're kind to of knows date, each other. Yeah, so if you're to date, you're dating someone like, who's within the community, so uh, not inviting them to the wedding. Yeah, no, they're with. not. Do you think so? They're, they're not, that's not their situation. Oh, it's just like, they yeah, just wanted to invite just, them. They're okay, just cool when they're, yeah. Yeah, see, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because if, yeah. I can't, like, if I was getting married, yeah. first of all, I'm not even going to have any contact with my exes. Like, there's that. Mm. Yeah. But if it means to invite them, I'm I'm asking for trouble to happen. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, if we're now doing speeches or whatever, mm. and my, my wife is saying, oh, you know, he's so sweet, he's so kind, da 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 this might trigger some past trauma for this one yeah. and then all of a sudden they're scuffing. Wedding cake on the floor. <laughs> it's crazy, wild. bro. That would be insane. It's insane. Yeah, nah, no, man. exes cannot be in the picture. No, nah, they can't be in the picture, but I, I know some people would be well, like... Well, they could be in the picture, just not friends. No, I don't want them in the picture either. I don't... Uh, but then I wouldn't date someone who's like in a similar space to someone else. You know when you said community? Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I wouldn't do that. Or I like, like, when I follow a man, he's got no mutuals. Love that. Wait, so, okay, wait, let's... We let's, won't fight that later. Let, let's, no, 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 we'll that now. Let's, let's rewind a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. You said in a similar space. Yeah, like, let's say... You know, like, how some people have, like, very similar friendship groups and, like, you see them at every of okay, those yeah, yeah, events yeah. specifically. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't then date someone from that same space. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought saying? you meant is as if, like, for example, if you, like, dated a creative, you wouldn't date another creative. No, I would. I mean, I wouldn't date a creative at all, generally. But right, if I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You'll get into that. <laughs> um, but, like, um, I would date another creative just in a different creative space if mm. I was to date a creative. Oh, okay, first. Yeah. Makes sense. Right, so is it a red flag if they are really close with their mum? How close is really close, though? Like... They're dogs. They'll probably tell their mum's information before they tell you. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay, what about... Because I've heard there's, like, a stigma around, like, mummy boys. Yeah, no, I can't have a mummy boy. No. Why? Because, I've like, because, I mean, we've heard the thing, it was like, oh, if you treat your mum nice, you treat your wife nice. Type no, thing. but I don't think that's what my mum is about. It's you like, they don't, I think they just don't know how to have boundaries with their... No, mom, because yeah. do you know what it is? It's like mommy's boys, they actually see women as slaves. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, they will oh. make you do everything. <laughs> I, didn't know that I, didn't, I didn't know. No, <laughs> That's I've it seen it. They, oh, can you get me this? Can you do this for me? No. Hmm. I'm not having it. Because they're cheating you like that. Oh. Because the reason they're mommy's boys is because their mums do everything for them. Okay. Oh. That's why. So it's kind of like putting them to this like worshipping yeah. standard. Yeah. You know? But that doesn't mean that like. I was going to say something, but it doesn't make no sense. But I was just going to face... No, it's gone off. It's left my brain. (laughs) But yeah, I just don't think... I think a man should have a decent... Like, he should have a good relationship with his Mm. mum. He should really value his mum. But valuing someone and, like, being a mummy's boy is, like, too too much. Fair enough. Okay. What about if they're really close to their dad? Yeah, be really... What kind of man is his dad, though? Because you see men who are really close with their dad, and their dad's, like... A gangster, and then you see men who are really close with their dad, and their dad is like really family oriented, and then mm. they're a good man because of that. So it depends yeah. on the dad. Well, then I gotta start looking at the dad. And that's a good point. A that's a, yeah, because you can't be doing like you can't be buddy buddy with his dad to the point where they're doing team man missions. <laughs> Crying together. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? We'll cheat together. No, <laughs> that's, <laughs> team man stuff with dad. that's insane. No, seriously, men are their fathers if they're close. So that's true. Yes. Okay. So uh, last one I have. Is it a red flag if they make less money than you? I don't think it's a red flag if they make less money than me, but it depends on the paradigm. Because, mm. like, for example, I see myself making a lot of money, obviously mm-hmm. wanting to be an artist and whatever. So, like, if he's, I don't know, let's say he's a finance bro, mm-hmm. and he's, like, doing really well in what he's doing, but it's not the same, like, million pounds for i don't know million dollar deal or whatever i would still respect that even if it was a little bit less than mine Mm. yeah i just want him to be doing really well what he's doing and i'm doing really well what i'm doing Mm. rather than like he's starting out and i'm doing really well and i'm further ahead so i think it's more like a stage is where are you in life what about now right now right now 2024 i want him to be earning more than me right now but yeah. if he was like, I need him to buy me things because I'm a little bit <laughs> spending too much money on this music thing. So if it's if it's like, for example, he's he's everything on your list in terms of green flags. Yeah, it makes sense. You know the height difference, I guess, whatever. <laughs> but the peas aren't really making too much sense. Then no. Then no. No. 
Because when we go on a date, am I paying? Like, what's the situation there then? Gosh. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> if he's earning less than me, yeah. I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm earning an incredible amount. Yeah. So if well, say, he's, say he's like, a, I don't know, like he's, I don't know, he's grinding in MACD's and it's like a step up. So carry on grinding. You can't, you ain't going to support the hustle? Or? No. Damn. Because who's because I'm supporting my own hustle, you're supporting your own hustle. We yeah. should both be focused at that point. Maybe we shouldn't even be dating. What if, the tra- what if we're trying to focus together? Nah, I hear it. I hear no. it. No. <laughs> no. With the way he builds his stuff out these it's days. It's not. None, yeah. of that, none of that Gen Z love, huh? Uh, FYP enough. love. <laughs> <laughs> I put it out there. I didn't know he was going yeah. to yeah. touch it. Fair enough. Like, I didn't even know you do that song. That sounds like. No oh, way, no, no. No way he's referencing that. To be fair, fair enough, fair enough. All right, cool. I've got a couple more. Go on. So is it a red flag if they get their hair or nails done every two to three days? Their nails. Well, this was for kind of him, but like... Wait, huh? Nails. If the girl gets her nails done every two oh, to three days. Oh, the girl oh. gets her nails done. I don't know and the then, guy, and then for the guy, if he gets his hair cut every two oh, to three Oh, because when he said for him, I thought you were talking about no, me. No, I said, no, what no, no. Wait, so what's the question? About, <laughs> so for you, if, <laughs> if he gets his, if he hair, gets done his hair done every two to three days, and then for you, if he gets... If she gets her nails done every two to three days. Oh, two to three days. You shouldn't really be getting your nails done every two to three days. It's bad for your nails. Yeah. I mean, and and it's bad for your hair. So, so. Yeah, so yeah. I just think it's stupid at that it's point. very stupid. So you guys want to do like a footballer or... Cause that's, no, but that's... No, but that's, di- that's, that's different. That's, that's trims. That's different. Okay, that's not different. haircut, but trims. Your answer? <laughs> well, if that's part of his career, then I don't really care. What if, what if it's not? What if it's like, like we said, brothers... Grinding with them McDoubles and whatever. No, no, no. And, and he's just gonna, getting his. He needs to get every straight. Three I'm days. sorry. There's no nah, excuse. He, he, he should be taking it. them to the shard. If you we get his tri- trims every other nah, that's wild. Nah, yeah, or, just, he... or just like a normal job, whatever. And he's getting trims every two to three days. So Monday he gets a trim. That's Thursday just weird. he gets a trim. That's so it's a red weird. flag though. I want not I'm say more of an ick than a red flag. I don't think it makes him a, like a bad person. So, it's yeah, just yeah. weird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is odd though. Yeah, red flags like, is more you like you're nice a for? bad not a bad person, but you're not a good partner. Don't mm. think it would make him not a good partner. I think I think it's borderline like, you know, American psycho level of <laughs> narcissistic and whatever. Yeah, yeah. actually is it's a sign of a sign of narcissism. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was that's what I was trying to That's a good to. point. Yeah, if, yeah, you, yeah. if you get your nose done every two to three days, there's why? Why, yeah. Like yeah. Who's, who's this for? Okay, why? yeah, no, maybe it is a red flag then. Un- do you think it's unless you're a beautician or something yeah, and you yeah. just want to be practicing new styles but even then I'm pretty sure it's not good to yeah no it's not mm. yeah I, mm, I'm not involved okay is it a red flag if they go to gym four plus days a week I go four plus days a week yeah okay depends so, I, actually that's a green flag green flag I yeah, need yeah. that because I want someone to train me I hate it I depends age. though like you can go gym four times a week five times a week Every day, if you want. That's yeah, fine. I'm wondering where this is going. <laughs> but you can't be. Uh, you see how there's gym bros yeah. and there's gym girls. Yeah. You can't be one of them. Like why? Hmm? Why? Nah, because there's ah, there's no. Well, means. you don't want to be like a meal prefect or stuff. No, but it's just like I don't. I don't want to be like doing all the like. Obviously, you can go gym and be working on your body to have a fitness or yeah. sculpting or whatever. That's fine. But then I feel like when you're taking it too serious that's like, becoming like taking where it's your like, health too serious <laughs> no, 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 no no not for the health not the health but <laughs> that's really gonna cost me in the future <laughs> I'm gonna live guys, long do you guys go gym? do you guys go gym? yeah okay. but it's, I'm saying so for example I, I go gym like three maybe four times a week if okay. I can but I'm saying I don't go there with a whole notebook tripod mm. and then I'm counting every single calorie that I'm eating but, but maybe he's making though? money off of it huh? what if he's making money from the first tripod first she but he, sorry she um, <laughs> I mean, if if that's if that's your yeah. career, then uh, cool, whatever, that's fine. Right. But if it's not your career, and like, then why you would no... she be filming if it's not her career? Some people do that. Really? Some people do that. Okay. Not both, and they don't post it. <laughs> I've never seen that. Even one. Worse, <laughs> I mean, it, it, we, we all know they don't post it because <laughs> we don't see it. But I'm just saying. I've like, never seen someone set up a whole tripod and don't post it or something. Right. And then even if Facebook, you know, they do post it and then disappear for a couple of months and then come back again after. But what's the what is the problem? Like, yeah, why does that bother you? I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's a bit like. It's not. It's not a red flag. Hmm. It's more like a. How can I say? You know them little amber alerts. Like <laughs> amber alert. Like you can swipe off and like yeah, you don't need to pay yeah, attention. Yeah, swipe but... off, nothing will happen. But yeah. it's just like, just here's this information, just in, in case, case you yeah. might need it, just in case. Really? No. Yeah. So it's, like, not, it's not a red flag, but. Right, I like cool. a guy that goes gym. Yeah, mm. like especially the very first so one, meal less... prepping, all of that stuff. Oh, I love it. 
Yeah. Yeah, because I used to work in a gym, oh. so I'm very like my brain's very like I'm very into fitness. Do you mind me asking yeah. what gym it was? Like Equinox. What? Never heard of that. Rich but. People's Gym. Oh, yeah, okay. never heard of it. It sounds it. That's how I like, like, yeah, that's like, that's how it. like that. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be up to date with all of our releases. And tune into the whole episode now on Spotify and Apple.